What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? You're now tuned in to Life for Love with Erica and <laughs> Sean here on Got What You Need Podcast Network and on Roku as well. Yes, we're on Roku. We on Roku. We on Roku. You can catch all. You can catch this episode and the rest of the episodes on Roku. Not now, but right now. <laughs> all right, That's right. You can catch it all right there, man. So. Make sure you go tune in, tap in, check us out, and then enjoy us. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so, my dear, how are you doing? I'm doing good, my husband. You know what? You always ask me how I'm doing. Oh, shit. Sure. I don't really ask you how are you doing, you know? Uh-huh. It's a little selfish you know, of me, but uh-huh. how are you doing, honey? You know why you don't ask me why, how right. I'm doing? Because right. I don't want to say how I'm doing. <laughs> <clears throat> I am busy. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah. I'm busy. Yeah. You know what I realized? I've been tired these what? past couple of days. Mm-hmm. I've been waking up past my alarm. Mm-hmm. Normally, and, I'm up way before everybody in the house. That's true. The last couple of mornings, you've been waking me up. Mm-hmm. Like Sean is seven. Yeah. Sean is it's, it's almost eight. It's like seven forty. It's almost eight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I still work a nine to five, so I log in to my job at eight <laughs> o'clock. The luxuries that we have to, I can just go from upstairs to downstairs, log right. into my computer. But I have a process in the morning, so I like to brush my teeth, I like to wash my face. I like to sit and meditate on the edge of the bed, which you probably don't know. I do that before I get up. Every time I do a quick meditation yeah. before I get up, I just sit on the edge of the bed and I just do that. And then, mm-hmm. like, I meditate first, and then I go and, you know, use the bathroom, mm-hmm. do my essentials, and yeah. then I go downstairs. I got to get dressed and then go downstairs. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, if that. I have to clock in at eight, it's going to be a little, yeah. little behind. It's going to be a little delayed. Right. But I've been tired, <laughs> yo, and I'm shocked, yo. Like, that's how I know, like, look, the boys ain't here. Yeah. So, you know. So it's like now you're getting, getting all some that, rest. That, that much needed rest. Yeah. But I don't need it right now. I need to get, I need to step and work. <laughs> right, like tonight, right, right. I actually got some stuff I need to do after we do this pod. Yeah. No, I really got some stuff no, I need to do. And I might know. take the laptop with me when we go to the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I might not. I'm not going to take the seat. She said, huh, I ain't about to yeah, do I'm that. Right. I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, I don't, no smoke. No smoke. Smoke, well, no, no smoke no smoke no smoke yeah but you no know, yeah no you need it you know it was just you know you and i or whatever and so you kind of just take that time and right yeah we've been chilling you know, we we happen we've been chilling we happen. i've been giving you cuddle time yeah you have yeah a little bit <clears throat> you got more than a little bit ma'am <laughs> i got more than a little bit okay i got Cut more than out. a little bit you know what I mean? but it's, you it's, want more but it's enjoying I love I got, it. I got more to give. I'll take all that I can. We're going give. to Miami in a few days. That's true. That's true. You can get cut on that some dick. I sure <laughs> do. Yeah. A whole lot. Of, a whole lot. Of, <clears> all right. And I'm not taking no laptop. I ain't nope. doing none no, of that. Not. I ain't taking no work. I already let clients know that I was gonna be shut down. Yeah. I already got email. I'm already changing the email mm-hmm. um, to let people know that I'm not going to be yeah. um, put your um, effective your out thing on. Yep, yep. On the <clears throat> yep. Out the out process. Out all that stuff gonna be there. Yep. yep. So you ain't even gotta worry. Yeah, I'm gonna be. It. I'm gonna be actively <laughs> us. Yeah. <Yes. clears throat> looking forward to it right we need it we do we, we do it. we do we we've do. been working hard you know we we deserve this break i i damn sure think we do yeah, yeah. i damn sure think we do yeah. especially you now you're getting more acclimated to what we do on the business oh, side of things yeah. not just the podcast and mm-hmm. the network side of things but creative jones as well yeah. Yeah. what you're gonna um start taking a more active role in yeah so the time is here right mm-hmm and get that back for no reason. Mm, I, I, I knew it was something behind it when I got it. I ain't got it for free. <laughs> no, you got it for free. But you go, you go work with it too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. I'm, and I'm all for it, man. Yeah. I'm all for it. Something else under my resume. Yeah, I know that's right. <laughs> what episode is this? I ain't even asked what episode. This is I, episode what? We missed last week. No. We missed last week. Let me see. That's a good that's, question. That's really your job to know the episodes, really? ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my podcast. I don't even do episodes. I do episodes <laughs> on all the rest of the podcast, but yours. 
<laughs> Everybody else got episodes with yeah, you. And I don't have episodes. <laughs> and you on like episode 100. Yeah, about 97, maybe yep. something like that. So this is uh, episode 18, episode right. 18. 18 yep, episode 18 yeah. of Life and Love. Um, so let's get right into it. Let's get into it, man. We got a few things, a few topics. We're going to start with this one. It's been kind of floating around social media. Um, and the, the video is five minutes long. Um, you know, but like the what they were discussing is um, very important, I believe. And something that we should, um, we should, um, you know, just kind of discuss or, yeah, take care <clears throat> you know what yeah. I mean, bring up or something. Mm -hmm. So we'll let you guys see it as well. You know, we'll let you all see it. Let's see yeah. here. Now you see me looking at my... We'll let you all be the judge. Right, right. Let you guys all be the judge of it. Because <laughs> I'm see. sure a lot of our youngins um, can relate to it. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's play this. <laughs> so th this this was um was um if you're if you're a parent, then you need to stop what you're doing and listen to this child speak. My only thing is it's a little too long, it's a five-minute clip, mm -hmm. and it was just pretty much breaking down like um how children perceive the dialogue that we give them yeah. with us having um we have a preteen. And then we have one that's growing, like, yeah. you know, he's he's moving out of toddler stage mm -hmm. into <clears throat> what he called big boy yeah. stage. <laughs> and then we got a preteen that's getting close to teenager. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And to hear the dialogue from this young woman, to me, was very, very good. Well, Do you want your if you parent, are parent or this is for to you. be your best friend? And what does it look like? About I mean, we want to we want to hear what you say. <laughs> Somebody's over here. Up, smiley coming up. Let's see. Knowledge of per knowledgeable, helpful to people, but some people don't understand you how I understand you. So you might have to correct yourself. So I literally had a conversation with my mom. I was like, OK, I'm going to tell you stuff and stop me when I get disrespectful. I express my feelings, but that don't happen with everybody. And so when I was standing up here and you guys were like, don't belittle your children, but the whole statement of you're not on my level level sounds like belittlement to us it's saying you're not as you don't have as much value as me you're not as important to me you don't put up what i put up so you can't have a say so in what we do mm. you don't pay bills you don't you don't own this house you don't pay for nothing <laughs> so and it's oh, good and it <laughs> go, ahead. go ahead go ahead and when you make when you bring up the stuff that you do for your children it makes us feel like a burden it makes us feel like i can't wait till i grow up so i don't have to be a burden to you anymore and if you say it's like it's like when you was like when people be like your parents had a life before you it makes you feel like i made you so miserable and bitter and like i just don't want to be here anymore because you don't want me to be here anymore wow <clears throat> wow i i think the young lady uh, the young woman is definitely profound in her speech mm -hmm. and and what she is saying. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely think what she is saying is profound in her yeah. speech. And being that we grew up in an era where our parents were, you know, I know my mom said that mm -hmm. shit. You I know my mom. I, I wrote it too, yeah. <clears throat> you know my mom. So you know she said all of that yeah. shit. Oh, yeah. It's my house. <laughs> you got a yeah. front door, yeah, a back door, and I got a window. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? You figure exactly. out which one you want to go mm -hmm. out of. Uh, you know, you know, everything, every all the rhetoric that you can yeah. think of. Mm -hmm. um, and that's probably why I try not to say those things. I think for us, the most yeah. thing we say is respect your home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Take yeah. care of your home. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Because this is yours. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the one thing we yeah. say. And I think, and Sean said one time, he was like, um, he's like, you tell us all the time to take care of the home. He was like, but it's y'all home. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe he said that one time. Yeah, he said, but <laughs> because y'all always say this is my home. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And it was like, okay, we feel you. Yeah. It is yeah. our home, though. Yeah. You know, it's our home, yeah. but it's yours as well. We had to explain to him. Mm -hmm. It's yours as well. Yeah. You still have to take care of the parts that's yours. Respect exactly. your home. Right. Because when we're gone, this is you and your brother's It'll place. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We've set up things where. Yep. you're going to be taken care of mm -hmm. and you'll have a place 
to stay, to stay forever as long as you, you know you pay yeah. your taxes and shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, you don't have to worry about a mortgage, <laughs> but you got to worry about some tax. Mm -hmm. But this is yours. You know what I mean? So to hear this young lady and our kids are the same way. They ask mm -hmm. questions, we answer questions. I don't mind that. I don't mind that dialogue back and forth. Mm -hmm. But I'm the same way. Don't get disrespectful. Yeah, that's all. Just <laughs> that's the only thing. You're right. Watch your motherfucking mouth. Yeah. And you only got one job. You only got two jobs, right. really. That's keeping your room clean and doing your chores. That's all one job. Mm -hmm. And school. And going to school. Yep. Exactly. You have to go get an education. Yeah. We don't play that over no, here. You, you got to go gotta, get an education. You got to go do something now. You yep. got to do something. You're going to be around here looking at us. Yeah. But yeah, he did brought that up because when the time, you know, when it, when it comes time to do the chores, you know, we brought about, you know, doing the dishes, you know, taking out the trash and stuff like that. And then he was like, you know, y'all said, this is y'all house, you know, you know, this is not my house. You know, in a sense, you know, it is yours. We're right. telling you to do all these things so you can know how things go and you can understand it and keep it longer. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know, like when it's time for you to get this, you know how to take care of it. Yeah. I think also, too, <clears throat> it got to be healthy boundaries. I want to be my child's friend, my kid's friend, but I'm also your dad, yo. I'm your parent. I'm your parent before all that friendship. We're friendly. We're friendly. Yeah. I'm here when you need me. I'm. Yeah. You're here. You, well, you know, anything. their mom is here. We, mm -hmm. You could talk to us about anything. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I ain't your fucking homies out here. No. You know what I'm saying? I'm not them. I'm sorry. It just, <laughs> <clears throat> we we can't, I, they got to, to me, it got to be a line drawn. Yeah. Yeah. It has yeah. to be a level of respect. Yeah. No, Both ways. Mm -hmm. But I am your fucking parent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, no one, you didn't ask to be here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You do have a mind of your own. Right. But when I see you not using your mind in a productive mm -hmm. manner, it's my job to check you about that. Exactly. <clears throat> you know what I mean? It's yeah. our job to fix it and point you in a proper direction, yeah. or at least guide you to that direction. Yeah. Yeah, right. Especially as young black men, there's so many men in jail based off emotions. Yeah. <clears throat> People always keep saying black men need to have show more emotions. But guess what happens when a lot of black men show emotion, a lot of emotion? They go to jail. Yeah. It's a healthy way to show your emotional side. And it's a non-healthy way of doing it. Yeah. Our job is to guide them yeah. into displaying themselves in a healthy manner. Right. <clears throat> that's our job yeah, yeah. And i ain't your goddamn friend i tell sean <laughs> yeah. them all the time like i love y'all to death i we give y'all i give you the world no. give you the world i ain't your friend yo yeah, i ain't your, i ain't them i ain't the little homeboys you ride your bike with i'm your dad right. but the, it's an open door policy for mm -hmm. everything yeah. and you know our boys tell us yeah. everything and and that's what we try to instill <clears throat> in them like you can come to us for anything yep. i tell day sean you know he's the oldest so i tell him every now and then hey if there's anything you want to talk about come talk to me you know mm -hmm. you know i'm not it don't matter what it is you know yep. he's getting up in the age where you know sex and stuff like that and it's gonna be coming up he soon. may have little questions and stuff but did you already talk to him a little bit about yep. it but at the same time it's like you know i'm but, here too hey, yep. you know you talk can to mom about too. it too i'm yep. not gonna let you down because no one didn't let me down so you know i had already knew about it i've heard about it all the time so i was able to ask questions and they would talk to me about it mm -hmm. you know that's why i didn't have no kid at an early age because i already knew what was up right. <laughs> but yeah Man, but i was out here shaking and baking come to me <laughs> <laughs> yeah we know <laughs> all right i was shaking and baking yeah, see my baby you know, see age. my daughter <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you shaking and baking at an early age so the one <laughs> Yeah, man, you got to watch how you talk to these Doing kids because much. <laughs> they'll, they'll take that, you know, as a something negative, you know, and makes them feel not wanted, right. you know, makes them feel yeah. that you don't want them there right. and they're going to go and they're going to have a conversation with somebody else yep. who will listen to them. Yep. And and then you looking like, well, why are you go over there? You talk to them. I'm your mama. I'm your daddy. Right. You can you talk know? to me. Yeah. Right. But you're not listening <clears throat> right. to you're me. You're listening. just fussing at me and stuff yeah. and telling me that I don't do this. I don't do that. This is yours. This is not mine. And yeah, I know it's yours. You provided it for me. But at the same time, you know, you got to let me live. Yeah. Yeah. You know, 
Yeah. And it's a lot of parents out there like that. I definitely, yeah, I definitely shit. understand. Yeah, you can't and be you too can, sure. And you can tell she's really going through it. Like she went through that. Mm-hmm. She she went through that. No, I think that little girl, she says she got an open, her mom has mm-hmm. an open dialogue with her. So yeah. they have a great relationship. Okay. But right. she was basing it on people that she yeah. know who's, okay. right. who's going through that now. So her well, and her, her and her mom is cool. Good then. Yeah, that's <clears throat> so that's a good thing. Her, her mom mm-hmm. had a great open dialogue. Yeah, you definitely gotta. Um, I mean, you gotta talk to your kids, man. You gotta talk. We talk. It's, yeah, you know I me. Mean? I talk with my daughter I'm pretty much every day. Mm-hmm. You know, she's 21, about to be 22. She tell me some of the most shenanigan based <laughs> shit I, I be hearing sometimes, but I be right. right there with it, y'all. I be yeah, like, you listen. like I listen. I get my input. I let her talk. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We laugh and joke mm-hmm. about it. Like, I take it all, man. Yeah, you take gotta. it all. You gotta, you know, she's at that point in her life, you know, she's an adult now, yep. you know, and you already have been through that. You know what's going on. Yep. You know how things go. So when she comes to you, you know, it, it feels good, you know, mm-hmm. when she comes to you and have that conversation. Oh, yeah, because it's a different dialogue. It's not like the yeah. kitty conversation. It's like, yo, I just started, you know, starting my career, mm-hmm. got this job doing this. <laughs> but also, I feel like I want to you know, go travel a little bit. I haven't been able to take any time yeah. off. Mm-hmm. And I'm letting them know, take that time off. Yeah. Because this work, she's going to be here. This shit ain't going nowhere. It sure is. This shit ain't going nowhere. No, shit, right I'm 41 years there. old, man. I feel like I've been working for a long time. I've been yeah. working since I was like 14, 15. Yeah. <clears throat> working a yeah. long yeah. time. Yeah. You've been at your fast food restaurant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've been working a long time. Working getting a long no, time. Getting no weekly checks. Right. It's, it's been a long time. You know? A long time. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. You're right. We, we've been adults for a very long time. We did. We've been adults for a very long time. You know? I wish I was a Toys R Us kid for a little while. <laughs> 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 so let's get to this next one. Um, That was a good one. You know what I mean? Just more of the story. <clears throat> Communicate with your children. Yes. Healthy dialogue. Mm-hmm. Healthy dialogue to me, also healthy boundaries mm-hmm. produces healthy respect for one another. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to give your kids room to grow mm-hmm. because they still trying to figure out what, yeah. what's their cause in this world, what yeah. they're called here for. <clears throat> and they need to know that you're there for them, but yeah. you also need to make sure, in my book, you need to make sure that yeah. they understand that. That's right. You the boss. I mean, in reality, huh? none of us asked to be here, you know, in reality. Mm, not one of us. So, you know, when it happens, it's like, you got to take care of your responsibility. Yeah, you got to so take care. You got to do what you got to do. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Stop generational <laughs> curses. Right. What's the next one? Let me see. <laughs> do women know how to please a man? Mm-hmm. Do y'all know? know? I know I know how to please my man. Do you? Uh, yes, I do. I'm, do? Going, I'm going to Miami, remember? Uh-huh. So therefore, I know how to please. <laughs> if your man want to take you places, then you're good, girl, okay? You're good. Uh, if you don't want to take you nowhere, um, you take somebody. <laughs> That's right, you take somebody else. You take somebody. So, yeah, That's your I little mean, dusty ass. It, I, I, I don't think, think y'all listen to us when we say you tell me that what we like. That I don't listen. Yeah. What we what we like and what we don't yeah, like. My inbox is full of lies. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? You need to empty it out. If you do the do the, the stuff <laughs> that's in that motherfucker, it'll be empty. <laughs> sure. But okay, just like someone had just said um on social media, it was Father's Day. Mm-hmm. And they had said that um, you know, oh oh, it's Father's Day, you know, get ready for the gifts that you don't want, you know, whatever and stuff like that. You that's know, dad fact. always get the sucky <clears throat> stuff, right. you know, the back end of the stick, you I know. Don't. And I, I, I voiced my opinion. I said, now, don't get me wrong. I haven't always been, you know, the best gift giver, but I have gotten better over time. Right. You know, so. Um, Y'all so used to getting shit. Y'all don't know how to give shit. That, that could be true. Yeah. And there's a lot of women out there that also feel that they shouldn't have to give nothing. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Yep. <laughs> it's they, a they lot like of just, women out there they should just take and yep, take and take feel like they you should know, not have they deserve this thing. they deserve that because i do all this i do all the cleaning you know i i do all the the appointments and everything i take care of kids Shit, it's something that don't do none you of know. that and feel like yo <laughs> you're the man you buy stuff i don't buy stuff for you yeah. and that's not right <clears throat> that's not fair right i don't think it's not fair it's not fair at all it's not yeah one and person as, as much as we love y'all vagina <laughs> 
That's not. That's not a damn gift. It's not a gift. <laughs> that is not a gift. I'm sorry. I don't, Even if you. Put that's like me if I come and come with my penis and say, "Hey, Merry Christmas." I'm like, like that. Man, get out of here. That thing peeping out of a hole. I'm like, oh shit. I will like that. You know me. Hmm. He don't know me yet. <laughs> I know this perv. <laughs> I know the perv. I know the perv. I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna like it. But yeah. Girl. So but, it, but it is some out there though who yeah. who think that they don't supposed to you know buy anything or give a man you know stuff you know don't give a man flowers we're not doing that you're not getting no flowers mm-hmm. I get the flowers yeah, no but flowers. sometimes you know you do you see I took a break stuff. from buying flowers yeah you did I'll be back I know you just gotta let it yeah, yeah I can't expect it right that's there yeah. we go you learning that you're learning now that you're learning. <laughs> Ooh, I can't learning. expect it. Can't expect it. It's always it's unexpected. It's got to be spontaneous. Yeah, yeah. And you are <laughs> a spontaneous person in this relationship. I'm not. Mm-mm. No, you're not. <laughs> no. Like, we are, I think that's why we get along so good because we are two different people. Oh, yeah. We're definitely you opposite. Know, like, you're this and I'm like this, but I'm, you know, trying to get out like this. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm trying to shoot more up top. I'm trying to <laughs> So I go straight for the moon. Yeah. I'm trying to go long like my locks. <laughs> <laughs> Goldilocks in the three bears. See, that. I'm Goldilocks, you, Devon, and Sean. Yeah. Three bears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I say this. You do a you do a good job when you when you when you in like pleasing wise, I'm not worried about that. Mm-hmm. That's that's fine. Yeah. But gift wise. You do a good job. Like my bike, mm-hmm. which I mm-hmm. haven't been able to fucking ride like I want to. Mm-hmm. It's been so busy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but my bike, um, shoot everything. You know, yeah. This year, my headphone stuff, like yeah. Christmas stuff. Yeah. You know I mean? don't, don't listen. No, you used to be on point. Be on point. You used to be hella cheap with the gifts. I did. <clears throat> I spent some money, honey. I did. But see, but it comes from when so you be it, look. It comes from when you are not used to doing that. You know, I'm I'm not used. Taken. I'm not used to buying people stuff. Uh-huh. You know, I'm not used to that. I'm not used to buying a guy this or that or whatever. No, I, I, I never shit. went through that. I so shit. you know, I didn't know what is right and what's wrong until I got with a real one. I'm needy. That's right, a real one. Yeah, right. You know what's up? Butter my biscuit, honey. I'm hungry too. Butter He's my doing. biscuit. <laughs> Butter yeah. my biscuit. I hungry. <laughs> Yo, speaking of this, I like this. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna play this. This, oh. this one is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, this one on, is hilarious. Bro. We're gonna play this. One. <laughs> Mm. we're gonna definitely play this one <laughs> because this is chock full of a lot of bullshit <laughs> let the bull begin you know what I mean? it's some bullshit and it's some non-bullshit it's but you know gee i met a man who treats me the way i always wanted he's there for me and my three kids and he even helps me out with bills but the problem is the sex is horrible it's really bad i have tried to enjoy him but i just can't my baby daddy puts it down, but he is for the streets. He literally has two other women pregnant right now, and I know he's no good for me, but because we have three kids together, I know I can always sleep with him, even though I know he'll never be in a committed relationship. My current guy is always talking about our future. He's always talking about marriage, and I know he will make a great husband, but I'm just not sure I can deal with terrible sex for the rest of my life. And there isn't much to be done because he is not all that big, for lack of better words. What should I do? Mm. Kendra G. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Terrible. Terrible. My question is this. Is it terrible because his penis is little? Or is it terrible because he don't know what he's doing while he's in the process Mm -hmm. of pleasing his woman? Mm -hmm. Next one, is she letting him know that she's not being pleased yes, sexually? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because women also be feeling like dude's ego is fragile, so I'm not going to tell him because he might be 
you know, he might get upset or mad or this, that, right. and the third. Right. It's not, ain't the case a lot of times. Yeah. <clears throat> or number three, mm-hmm. she could be so hooked on the baby daddy's penis right. to the point where she don't want to let it go and don't want nothing else. That's true. You know, because all penises are not the same. No, you know? it's not. So she's going to have to switch it up and she probably don't want to. So we got to think about that too. Because she's constantly going over to this, to the baby daddy. She is definitely. She knows she can get it, you know, because <coughs> right. they got kids together. But that shit is horrible. trash, but... yo. That shit is trash. <laughs> it's like, it's, you know why it's trash? Because it's trash because it is. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it's as easy as communication. Mm-hmm. It's easy as letting old boy know, hey, you know, I love you. Things things are great. This is one thing that we are lacking in yeah. that I would like some change in. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My thing is how much effort is she putting in during the sexual? And the thing is because you, people be so hooked to what someone else did in bed. Yeah. <clears throat> You that you yeah. you just feel like that's the only thing you need yeah you can't do and then you realize what you're dealing with ain't the same oh it ain't the same because i used to get off on this mm-hmm. one this is phenomenal yeah, but that person don't know <clears throat> you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. but this person you're not giving this person a try mm-hmm. you know what i mean yep i was lucky i was lucky you know i've been married it's my second marriage mm-hmm. first wife a phenomenal mm-hmm. sex mm-hmm. luckily second wife we have phenomenal sex mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I don't have to, you know, my mind don't have to hold that. Like, man, we used to have fun with this one. She used yeah. to let me do all type of right, shit. Right, right, right. And then this one over here don't let me do shit. Why the right. hell I married her? You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> you know what I mean? And now you out here cheating and all, but that's right. still corny because you're not yeah. communicating with that mm-hmm. person. It's like, we communicate mm-hmm. what we like and don't like sexually. Yeah. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We communicate. Yeah. And you know me, I try to make sure you communicate. You good? You let us mm-hmm. right. We're just working. All right. Yeah, we're gonna we gonna stay here. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna stay here until you tell me something different. Right, right, right. Don't, right. don't take all day, because if I stay here, this might be uh I'm out of the game. <laughs> you know, let me tap it out. <laughs> this will feel really good right here, you know what I mean? I'm going to change it real, right quick. I'm going to change it for a second. I'll come back to it because if I, I stay here, you. hey, be we done. Up. We done. I finished. You did. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm going to switch it and then I'm going to slide on back over here. All right, we back. We back. We back. We back. We back. We, back. we get the groove, man. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, right. Tied up. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I I think it's the communication. I'm sure she probably um haven't said anything to him about it. I mean, because apparently, you know, she 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 likes him. He's a good dude. Right. You know, he does everything he's supposed to do. But it just right. that's it. Now, sex is. Sex does plays a, a big part in a relationship, Hell you yeah. know, because you don't want to, you don't want to have to go to nobody else for that. You know, Hell that's yeah. kind of that's one of the things that kind of keep you sane in a relationship is to have sex. Sometimes sex you know? can keep you in a relationship that you know is trash as fuck, <laughs> or it right. keeps a, a or it prolongs yeah, the relationship. Keeps low, yeah, right, keeps them going. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's it's. Yeah. Whoever says it's not something that's needed, they're wrong. No, that shit is needed. It is needed. I can't, I can't see that you're gonna be with somebody and you're not enjoying the sex of it. I, 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 hey man, I would like to have more of it, but that's only yeah. because we busy though. Yeah, it's like so when we do happen. do it, it'd be great, yeah. and it don't be like months and no shit like no yeah, goofy no, shit like that. like that no <clears throat> it don't be no goofy yeah. shit like that yeah you know, i might want it four times a week but you know we can only do two times yeah. a week you know mm-hmm. what i mean so shit like that yeah like we look mm-hmm. we got chill yeah. churn yeah. and yeah. miss horny toad over yeah, here i know churn and chilling yep you know? turn chilling children yeah kids mm-hmm. <laughs> No, rug rats it's life man life life and work man work busy yeah 
We got the Roku yeah. channel. We got all this podcast yeah. network. We got a managed podcast on there. We got to do this. We, we got to do that. All of we, it's a bunch of shit going on, man. Over here. It's, it's, a it's a bunch of shit. It's a bunch of shit going yeah, on. Yeah. <clears throat> I just hope, you know, ladies, talk to your dude first. Have that communication. Tell him what you like and see if he can handle that and yeah. hang in there. You want a thumb in your butt? Let him know. Put the thumb in your yeah, butt. I'm sure he won't have no problem <clears throat> with that. He, you know what I know a lot of dudes do too? <laughs> a lot of dudes get with women and because that's your woman, it's fine. Oh, I see. And it's like, you don't want to do these nasty, you freaky shit that you was doing over here. Man. You was over here doing mad, freaky shit yeah, with this shit. But you with your lady, like, you know, she's not like yeah. that. We're not going to yeah. do that she's to so her. Sensitive. She's so sweet. Ooh. Ooh, nice. sensitive, baby. You're like, yo, she <laughs> wants you to choke her ass. <laughs> right. Yo, me and oh, Trey talked that. about that. On the Black Male Podcast, mm -hmm. airing every Tuesday and Friday. <laughs> Trey and I talked about that, and 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 I told, I said that same shit. I said, bro, mm -hmm. the sad part is, dudes will go over here to the side, do all this freaky shit with the side. Mm -hmm. Don't never do none of that shit with your lady because mm -hmm. you be like, oh, I don't want my my lady not gonna like me to bust on her face and all this other that. shit. And nine that. times out of ten. I know I said 10 times out of 10, your lady want all that nasty she shit. Won't. She right. wants you to do all that <laughs> shit because eventually she gonna go get her side and that side yeah, dude don't do, give a fuck. He's gonna do, all <laughs> he gonna do it all. Yep. He gonna like, let me test the waters right yep. quick. Like she knows she got a thumb in the butt. She like a damn bowling right. ball. <laughs> And then she coming home like, baby, can you put your thumb in my no, butt? No, she ain't. Gonna be she like, ain't, she ain't like, coming home and doing none of that. you get that from? She ain't coming home doing none of that. She gonna do that regular bland sex with you in the, in the back of the mind. She about to get up with old boy uh, tomorrow. So she's like, let's go ahead. We're gonna fuck real quick. He get this over with. I'm gonna lay down, go to sleep. As, as you dozed off, she over there texting old boy. Mm -hmm. You ready for tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, she ready to go. He done told her ass, you can come right now if you want. She contemplate walking out the door right now. Yeah, now the kids are still up. I can't <clears throat> contemplate. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. That happens, yeah, man. Yeah, that's how it be. Yeah, man. Sometimes you got to do those happens. nasty things. You may like it, you know? Don't keep us in the, the nun mode all the time, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I don't want to be a nun all you my life. Be a nun all your life. Yeah, like you said, nothing. Gotta pull up to the all of that stuff. God damn. You like it. Calm down, child. <laughs> but this is a family I, show. I, I'm just a nun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You know, you you don't know what you're gonna get unless you ask. You gotta say something. I don't like asking for nothing. You you can ask for that. I like. You can she, be she like, just hey, do you mind if? How do you think about this? No, I'm wrong with that. I'm gonna put my W button, put my W button. You know, I don't give a fuck about that shit. Be respectful and ass. <laughs> be okay. respectful. My yeah. hands clean. So that's, yeah, that's my, my line of respect. That's about it. My hands are clean. Now nah, it's dirty. <laughs> okay. okay, yeah, maybe the thumb is safe, but the actual thing, ass, okay? Oh, put you your know, you don't want to get punched in your face, you know? I ain't asking for that either. I'm you just doing it. <laughs> yeah. Ass, we man. know how you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, just be still. Be quiet. Take, take, your take, 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 take your time. Take it. Take it. Take it, bitch. Take it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And those stupid women, we sit there and take it. <laughs> yeah. Take it. Just oh, smile. Man. Just smile with me. <laughs> Won't you just smile? <laughs> I guess. Yeah, you got saying, no choice. You huh? got no choice. <laughs> Yeah, have choices. Hold on, what is this? Men that don't matter. That's actually that's pretty much saying what we were just talking, talking about. about. Yeah, yeah. you don't need to play that you know, shit. She over there going to the side, dude. Yeah. Done. That shit happens though. That shit yeah. happens. I, yeah. I say this like <clears throat> I know it was a point in my um last marriage mm -hmm. where me and my ex-wife were not seeing eye to eye. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And I know she was going to fuck with someone else. Mm -hmm. Like I had a feeling. Mm -hmm. I had a feeling she was. I just knew she was. Yeah, but I didn't. Yeah. You know, you just know it. We ain't we ain't touching each other. Yeah, we're on the same page. I know you nasty like I am. <clears throat> so I know somebody is. You know, it was a girl, which mm -hmm. was cool and all. That was the life we kind of <laughs> lived. <laughs> it was the person that it was that was like, 
nigga. Like, mm. that's what it was like. Come on, okay. right. um, but mm. to be honest, I wasn't no saint neither. <laughs> so it was like. So it was cool. You know what I mean? I wasn't even tripping. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wasn't tripping at all. I, I didn't until she fully, when she moved out, then I went hamburger. Mm-hmm. Or sesame boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you but when I but well, when we lived in Florida, I wasn't faithful to nothing but my time. Oh, that was yeah. it. Using your element. <clears throat> I wasn't faithful to nothing yeah, but my time. Using your element. Yeah. That's all I was faithful to. Me and my yeah. time. Yeah. You you had them all over. It was like what's some thing called the Pokemon. They were Pokemon. Oh yeah, gotta catch them all. Yeah. Gotta <laughs> catch them all. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Dang. I was wild, yo. I was I was wild, but. We didn't have no respect for one another. She was yeah. wilding too. No, she that's was, right. When we had no respect for yeah, and that also kind of goes the same when you you know you're in a relationship, not marriage, but mm-hmm. you know Just you're date. young and you're mm-hmm. out there doing it, and you got something that's it's not it's not appealing to you. You know, well, uh, that's not working. I'm gonna go slide over here, and I'm gonna get this over here. Sometimes you don't even want the obligation. <clears throat> sometimes right. a relationship can feel like an obligation i'm yeah. obligated to this person yeah and then you're like man i don't feel like that shit yo no, you know what I'm saying? especially yeah. when you're young coming yeah. up yeah like, man, i don't feel like that shit yeah, though. you're right, you're right. <laughs> you know you're what right. i mean well, i just kind of want to go do what i want to do you yeah. know what i'm saying but the problem is you're bonded by this mm-hmm. especially if you're married like you was married at one yeah. point too prior to me mm-hmm. even though you only claim me yeah, I'm <laughs> claiming, yeah. but you know you was married so Mm-hmm. you're married under the eyes of the Lord yeah. so you feeling like this obligation to not do stuff right. but in reality you're like man fuck this yeah. shit yo mm-hmm. this yeah. shit is boring yo yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. or oh, I'm miserable you come home miserable as fuck and you yeah. like I don't want to come home yo I'm yeah. telling you that's the worst when you don't want to come home yeah. <clears throat> your home should be your sanctuary yeah yeah, it's a safe place. It's safe space. Be comfortable. Yep. Yeah. It's, you don't want to come yeah. home. It's yeah. It's sad. I don't. I don't like that. Don't want to come. When home. you sit in your car up the street. Yeah. <laughs> or in the driveway. I know when I when I was living in Florida, pull up. I pull up in the parking because we lived in a complex. Mm-hmm. I just sit in my car in the complex. Yeah. That's See, this time I got out the car and walk up the street to the store because <laughs> I didn't want to go. That's bad. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah. Walk all the way up the street to the store. Like, I don't walk up here to Walmart. Cause you remember, I showed you where I used yeah. to live at. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? In um, Orlando, one of the places. I showed you all the places. Mm. Walk up to the to the damn Walmart. Walk in this Walmart, grab me something. That's bad. Mm. Oh my God. Ooh. Mm. That's trash. That was I'm, a mean I'm, yarn. I'm, I'm glad you. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm glad you never felt like you should park the car in the yard and go walk yeah. up the street <clears throat> i come home yeah got, i always come home you ain't got no choice them kids see that car in the yard they coming outside, oh, they coming outside. <laughs> you too shit you just stop doing it because i said something your ass what? <clears throat> that's the only reason you just what? stopped doing like a little puppy Ever. too come what damn else? car i'm sitting outside on the phone with eric or somebody i'm running some numbers <laughs> hey y'all yeah. come at the door i'm like y'all know i'm here i'm coming in the house just no. give me a minute Hurry up and come on. This is why I try to talk to everybody before I walk in the oh, house because better. I know you what's gonna happen. Yep. I tell I tell everybody, I say, hey, mm-hmm. once I walk in the house, I gotta go into dad mode. So. Yep, I do the same thing too. I wrap this once up. I'm like, all right, I'm in the yard. Talk to you later. Yep. You go in the house, everybody's gonna be mommy, 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 daddy, daddy, daddy. I don't this do that. Is. I don't yeah. do that. I'll oh, let you, you come you in. You'll start talking. I'll let you come in. You see, he see I'm on the phone. He'll just be talking to me. I'm like, dude, I'm on the phone. Get the fuck off the phone. How you gonna tell you me? In the house, get off the, get phone. Off the phone. It ain't nothing but your mama. No, I talk to other people. And your mama. <laughs> <laughs> I have friends. Finally, okay. thank God. A little man is depressing, bro. You got some friends. <laughs> nah, I'm good. No, nah, you got some good friends. You need to go hang out with some. Yeah. Look now, don't be, don't be trying to get me out of the house. Huh? Don't be trying to get me out of the house. It was, yo, I ain't gonna hold you. You drove to South Carolina. 
It was, the boys it was off. good to have the house to yourself. It was fucking awesome. You know what? I, I ain't gonna even lie. I, I sat and I thought lie. about that. I said, you know what? I said, I bet Sean having the time of his life right now. I ain't gonna even lie. Ain't nobody to bother him. It was awesome. Yeah. shit to him. It was he awesome. It's good. Yeah, I left the house. Well, I'm like, I'm gonna go chill with my friend. I said, I don't I'm gonna go chill with my friend. We didn't even talk to each other on the phone. No. Nope. Like a text here and there yep. or whatever. Just let me know where you was located. Yeah. I want to go chill with my friends. I said, I'm gonna go chill with my friends. Yeah, yeah. Left the house when I felt you like you had to ask, hey, can I go? No, I know, right? <laughs> right. I'm a grown ass man. Right. <clears throat> Shit, with oh, children. Yeah. I gotta ask, can Still I go? Gotta ask, can I go? Well, the bulls, <laughs> yeah, I bet that did feel good, you know. And and look, but guess what though? Yeah, At awesome. home, they they were shocked that I came by myself because they always used to seeing you, you know. Okay. So they were shocked. They was like, "Where's Sean at?" <clears throat> I was like, "Oh, he at home." Oh, so you came by yourself, you know? We had like a little shock mode on. Good. I'm like, y'all, I can do stuff. No, by you myself. can't. Yes, I no, can. No, you can't. Since you <laughs> met me, you have. Though. When was the last time you drove home? Because you. <clears throat> Because you do it all the time. 2009. Because you do it all the time. You got me used you to it. You moving up so here. I don't even want to drive no <laughs> That's more. what you drove yeah. home. Yeah. You I, moving I, up I here. I think I went home a couple times. Yep. Yep. Went and to that you. was it. And you weren't even up here yet. You drove to your grandma's funeral. Yeah. But you wasn't really all the way up here yet. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I still was in the whole moving process. Yeah, you were still in the process. It wasn't too much. I tell you Uh-oh. that much. It would be to drop the boy off. And that was always with me. And then we was always together, yeah. So you ain't went home by yourself. This is the first time in years. Because it's been years. Years Mm -hmm. by yourself. I was chilling. I said, man. (laughs) You were just living life. Doing shit. I was getting shit done. Now I'm back at the house. Aggravating. Mm -hmm. Making me hang out with you and shit. How about that? Make me do shit with you. Hey. I'm like, man, I get off from work. I could go in the garage. I can't do that since you home. Gotta talk to me now. <laughs> right. I gotta now talk you gotta to talk you. To you gotta talk to you. You <laughs> right about that. That joke would be wanting to talk, boy. Yeah, you gotta talk. You ain't yeah. nothing wrong with that. Nah, ain't nothing wrong with that. No, I'm good. I'm good for it. You good for it? Yeah. I'm always talking to you, though. You do. Don't act like that. I go upstairs and lay on the bed and talk to you. Right? You do. I spend my lunch breaks making sure you get get um a quiet amount of conversation and comfort needed i give you that because <clears throat> i don't want no smoke i don't want nothing <laughs> pop up on my phone and now i'm getting fucking arguments and shit because <laughs> you don't understand what's going on <laughs> and i don't want no smoke you hear me no you smoke america you jones claim. Want no smoke hey keep it clear and conscious man. all right I'm about to play this. I want to play this. This this shit was funny. I'm playing the whole yeah. thing too because this shit was hilarious. <laughs> this shit was funny as hell. Mm. This shit was funny, man. Oh. <clears throat> this was funny, and this breakdown was yeah. I I, I wasn't expecting that. That was an amazing honest. breakdown. I wasn't expecting that. Y'all gonna like this one. Y'all <laughs> definitely gonna like it. This was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, the whole breakdown. The whole breakdown. <clears throat> We always get the question, does size matter? But I think the question we should be asking is, how wet is she? So here today, we're gonna solve for X, which is WAP. Stands for wet as pussy. The formula for WAP is size times motion times average time per fuck. Now, in order to solve for WAP, my dick is four inches. So, four inches times three pumps per second times, let's say, for 10 minutes, go for 10 minutes. That's four times 180 pumps per minute for 10 minutes. I'm giving her 7,200 inches of dick. Now, if we compare that with an eight inch dick, let's say there's an eight inch dick, but, and we all know big dicks are lazy. So eight inches times one pump per second for 10 minutes, eight times 60 pumps per minute for 10 minutes, that's 
4,800 inches a day. Now, if my math is right, I'm giving her 2,400 inches of more dick in 10 minutes. Now, why am I smaller? But Jimmy, well, this much more dick. And that is gonna give her a bigger one. Thank you. <laughs> that was hilarious, yo. Yo, he broke, yo, he broke that shit. <laughs> he broke that shit down, son. Yeah, he just explained why four <clears throat> inches is good enough for you women. So all of you want these eight, ten inch dicks? He just break it down for you. Shit, you gonna get this, this big dick. <laughs> <laughs> eight inch dicks are lazy. I'm just lazy, dude. You get, you get more pumps over here. I was just lazy then, man. <laughs> that, that whole pump breakdown. Yo, he that broke that, that shit crazy. down. So. And he walked away and was like, yeah, yeah. I'm the shit. I know. Uh-huh. Come get this little four-inch dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey. <laughs> hey salute. salute to that young brother. <laughs> he had the pump pumpage broken down, yes, man. He, he, he had the pumpage broken down. Did a good job. I'm gonna have to get a pump yeah. counter to see how that work. <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna work because I can't click it while I'm doing it. So no. maybe if I put it on my pelvis area, then it'll <laughs> pump. <laughs> get a pump counter. Let's see. Let's see how many pumps, how many pumps oh we working in. What's the stroke okay. per minute, <laughs> per second? What's that stroke per second count is? Then like, break it down the strokes per minute. Idea. Huh? Yeah, pump count. See how this yeah. See, I'm already tall. Pumps. Even longer strokes <laughs> than pumps ain't gonna be regular. You know, regular jokes, bro. <laughs> Thousands yeah. We will get a pump counter. Mm, all right. Let's Put that right it. on my pelvis. Let's do it. Huh? Let's do it. That's nasty. Yeah, let's look do at it. you. I'm ready. You know, I'm ready. You are so nasty, yo. Look, I'm curious. I want to know. Curious fucking George. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> damn pump counter. That's so, crazy, sir. <laughs> yeah. Four inches enough for your ladies. It's enough. That's <clears throat> they say y'all spot is like, what? I think it's what? Three inches in and up? Mm-hmm. Three, three, three. Yeah. So four inches might be enough. Might yeah. just get right in there mm-hmm. where it need to be in. You pull it yeah. up and he... Flap that little mm-hmm. motherfucker in there. Yeah. I mean, to know how to, you know, move it around and work it, you know, that counts too, you know? Gotta have some girth, yeah, I you, guess. You, you gotta know how to move it around. <clears> I'm speaking on like penis that. like I know how that shit's supposed to feel and look. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure girth is yeah. is needed on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you, you have can't have no four inch pencil. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can't get a, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right, gotta right, have right. some shit in it. You, yeah, you gotta have something to go uh, with. Some it, shit with you, it, man. You just can't be four inches and you know, skinny totally, and that's it. No, nah. you gotta, you know, have some extra stuff too. You gotta have some sides to it. Yeah, you know, some curve. green beans, macaroni, you know, stuff like some that. Some sides. <laughs> you just can't have <clears throat> the entree. You gotta have some sides with it too. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> you know? so, yeah. You know. But As y'all can see, we got the blind our window open. We need to clean that window. Uh, <laughs> that's your job. And y'all see the weather that the, it went from light to dark. So that means this is life of love with Erica and Sean, episode eighteen. You got anything else you want to add to the pod? No. Yo, we out, people, man. We hope y'all had a good time, <laughs> man. Make sure y'all check us out on YouTube. Also, check us out on Roku. You can just go to the Roku channel. We're doing a full soft release. So right now, the soft release is going to be only a selected amount of shows on there right now, just a podcast mm-hmm. um, at this moment and one mini series. Um, <clears throat> but as time progresses, uh, by the end of July, beginning of August, it's going to be a lot more content on there, a lot more shows. Uh, we're going to have some fun with this. So make sure you just go to your Roku channel type in GWUN network, space network, and you'll see our logo. Click it, add it to your uh, Roku, and make sure you check out the different shows we have going on, all right? That's right. Once again, people, this is Life in Love with Erica and LaShawn here on the Got What You Need Network.
Peace. <laughs>